I'm here at the Canada Post sorting facility in Saskatoon where postal workers started picketing early this morning. Canada Post workers are on strike nationwide, 55,000 employees off the job just days ahead of the holiday season. Morale obviously suffers sometimes over time when the weather gets chilly, but I don't know if I've ever been on a picket line that isn't somewhat cold weather, so it's, it's one of those things, but it's been pretty good. You can see we've got a lot of people out here today, and I'm just really excited about that. The strike comes after a year of bargaining. The postal workers say they want more money. Canada Post offered an 11.5% increase over four years. The union wants close to double that, 22 percent. The union is also asking for improved retirement benefits and better health and safety conditions. Right now we're just, um, we're actually on strike. This is our first day on strike. Uh, we are just trying to at least meet in the middle for what our demands are and hopefully have a, a good kind of center ground. In a statement, Canada Post said the strike means some post offices would close and no mail or parcels would be delivered. Canada Post also says it's losing money, down almost half a billion dollars so far this year. This is really tough on, well, everybody, but we know the struggle is really high for the single income families and there are quite a number of them. As I said, I am one of them. Obviously, we're willing to be out here on the line as long as it needs to be. Past, CUPW did rotating strikes and employees would picket on different days in different locations. This time there are no rotating pickets. It's all units coast to coast. Key mail like pension and unemployment checks will still get through but expect delays. Ashwarya Duda, CBC News, Saskatoon.